for Steve, joy is that place of God's grace that sees the world in need and that rescues us wherever and whenever we are caught, caught by even death itself. It's the space that invites us to bring the whole of our lives into the presence of God with the awareness that that God has created the broad place of that grace in which we can breathe and rediscover the reality of our life and our meaning and our value and our passions, where we can admit our weaknesses and our failures and our disappointments. God's capacity in this way is why I think he used the benediction that he did. Now to God, to God who is able to do exceedingly abundantly beyond anything that we could ask or even imagine, because that is joy. Joy is life set in that broad place. Nothing and no one is excluded, including even suffering and death death itself. It is all being remade. Steve, in this way, was an embodiment of extravagant grace. Grace that was within him and grace that was far beyond him. This was evident when I met him in my freshman dorm until I sat by his deathbed. He had great capacities intellectually and emotionally, organizationally and administratively. These, for many, would be goals in themselves. But for Steve, they were just incidental to the call to be a follower of Jesus who loved whomever it was that God brought into his path.